Oh, look. Yeah, they're making it, changing the front of all their spices from their old. Look, fancy, fancy. There's the pumpkin seeds. You got them? Two or one? Get two because they're on sale. When you three? see a good price, oh, uh, get three. Yeah. That's Four? a good How price. Much? How much is there? <laughs> How's that working out for you? I mean, it was working out. Do <laughs> like you ever wonder how the Rod Squad goes through Costco? <laughs> it's like this. How are you turning the corner? This cheese is mushy. It's mozzarella. Prepare to go into the cold area. <laughs> A lot of things that pumpkin flavored. Okay, do you think there's gonna be any pumpkin in these pumpkin flavored pretzels? No. Let's look and see. Pumpkin spice and yogurt flavored coating. So the flavor is what? Natural flavor, orange color. No pumpkin, absolutely no pumpkin. Even though they're supposed to be pumpkin. Now, I think the only thing in the store right now that says pumpkin, that probably actually has pumpkin, are these JoJo's. And this is a pretty good brand. It looks yummy. It has like granola butter on the inside. And let's see, does it actually have pumpkin anywhere? Let's look. Pumpkin spice granola with pumpkin seeds, sweetened with maple syrup. It has pumpkin I see seeds. more pumpkin seeds. And then it just has all the spices that make things taste pumpkin-y, like cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, all of that good stuff. Definitely, uh, ah, goodbye. Definitely better than uh, something like that over there. JoJo's Dark Chocolate Pumpkin Spice Filled Bites. Okay, do we think there's pumpkin in here? Pumpkin Spice Creamer. Let's see. Is there pumpkin? Pumpkin puree, wow, way to go. It does have natural now? flavor. But at least it's pumpkin puree. Wow. I am pleasantly pleased to find pumpkin with real pumpkin. They actually seem to have a lot of like, I guess end of season um, organic like pops and stuff, but does have natural flavors, 15 grams of added sugar. This one might be better. Just fruit, water, sugar. Let's see, it says that's it. Let's see, water, cane sugar is before the strawberry. Uh, 27 grams of added sugar, so no, not necessarily better. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Aubrey. I am a wife and a mom to seven kids, and I like to go to Costco. <laughs> They're pretty much one of my favorite stores, and today I'm gonna show y'all our massively huge uh, Costco haul here for the month of September. I love buying our family healthy, nutritious, and nourishing foods. However, we do have a budget and we also like to have a little fun. And so in this grocery haul, you're gonna see some whole foods and organics. You're also gonna see some fun foods and some splurges. So today I'm gonna to start with all this cold stuff because we were stuck in traffic and we have, it's been out of the fridge for too long since the store. So um, first, I really like getting this uncured black forest ham. Now it is not organic, but it is made with no nitrates or nitrites or any, um, other types of crazy additives. It also is $5.69 a pound, which is pretty good. Um, this is really delicious ham, and so I always like to pick up um, one of these. It does have some natural flavorings in the coating, but other than that, um, it's a pretty good buy. And I was so excited because my absolute favorite sausage um, was on sale. I do also really like the uh, Teton Polish sausages, but these were on sale. They're great because not only are they no antibiotics, not only are they organic, they're actually 100% grass fed and grass finished, which is just the absolute best that you can get. And with all of that great beef, of course, they wouldn't want to mess it up with a bunch of crazy ingredients, right? So we have a really clean ingredient list here, and I was super stoked to be able to get some of those. Uh, then I always pick up 
some chicken drumsticks. I do like to get organic meat whenever possible. This one, they're only $1.99 a pound. So I got one that I'll cook this week and then I got one for the freezer. So I got that. Usually, if we're gonna eat drumsticks as a meal for our family of nine, this whole package will be gone in one meal. And then sometimes with the second one, I will cut these up and try to use like three to four chicken drumsticks. I'll just boil them, make some stock, and then make pull them out and shred that chicken up and add it into like a rice dish or a casserole where meat is not the main, the main star of the, that meal. Um, and then I did get some of this turkey breast. Again, this one's not organic either, but it's six, it's like half the price of the organic one that's uh, pre-sliced at $4.59 a pound. Um, this one is just really delicious. It also freezes really well. I have a little buddy uh, joining me. <laughs> Then I like to pick up this four pound bag of wild blueberries. I like getting wild versus organic blueberries. Number one, they typically are a better price. And then they actually do have two times the antioxidants as your typical blueberries. And they're also a little smaller and just easy for little mouths. He loves his blueberries. Um, those are really great. I was looking all over for the Tillamook cheddar cheese and the Costco just didn't have the big block at all so I got this Kirkland sharp cheddar cheese it is not my number one fave which is why I only got one I was planning on getting eight pounds of cheese but I don't love this one enough to get eight pounds so I only got one two pound block to kind of tie this over until I can maybe go to another store and pick up a cheese we prefer a little more and then for sliced cheese this month I got the Munster we have some leftover Tillamook cheddar like sliced cheddar in the fridge so I wanted to kind of switch it up this month we really enjoy this Munster cheese here and then the Costco I was at today was a new Costco to me and these are the same brand as I usually get but typically they are organic and these are not so I was a little disappointed in that however they were non gmo so they even though they have canola oil in them um, they it is non GMO canola, canola oil so I went ahead and bought this it was a lower price and the organic actually comes with 36 tortillas and this one came with 44 so I just looked at it as a win for the sake that I didn't really have a choice and I ended up getting more tortillas for a lower price and then I got two of these grass-fed butters the other ones right up there um, and I, I love the Kirkland brand because it's less expensive than Kerrygold, but even better quality. Um, it's 95% grass-fed butter. They're absolutely delicious. I just, I could not speak more highly of that butter there. And then right behind that, I got the sauerkraut. I do like to make my own sauerkraut, but um, my kids have just been devouring it too fast and I don't have any right now. I need to ferment a big old batch, but until then I went ahead and got this smaller container. Well, it's large but small for us. <laughs> uh, we'll go through that in like a week. So um, that, and then over here, the other cold items, I always get some sour cream. Uh, it has very minimal ingredients, just the Daisy um, brand always has very minimal ingredients. It's just cold, cultured cream. And then I like to get the organic half and half that's over in the refrigerated section. All right, and over here we've got lots and lots of eggs. So I got two containers of the five dozen eggs and then I got three containers of the pasture-raised um, two dozen count, so 16 dozen total. Um, I'm working my way up. I know that pasture-raised eggs are superior, okay, you guys? I know it, but they are double the price. They're double the price probably because there's literally twice as much vitamin E, there's more than double the omega-3s, there's higher vitamin A, um, and there's like less cholesterol and less saturated fats, like I get it. But budget-wise, I can't do all pasture-raised eggs. Last month alone, we went through 20 dozen eggs. So I would say this here 16 dozen is on the lower end. I'll probably have to get some more later on in the month. So what I do is if I'm baking large quantities of something, muffins or whatever, and it requires me to use six eggs to make two dozen muffins, I will use a cage-free eggs. However, if I am making fried eggs for breakfast, then I will use the pasture-raised eggs or I will boil these or I'll fry these and put them on avocado toast um, because you get the most nutrition when the yolk is runny. So I try to use these when I'm going to make eggs where the yolk is runny and I use these a lot in baking. So that is why I get two types of eggs and try to work within my budget. Um, let me know what do you do? What kind of eggs do you buy? Um, do you do half and half? Um, that's just the best I'm trying to do uh, for my family right now. 
Then I love getting carrots. Absolutely love getting carrots because you get so much goodness, so much nutrition. Um, and look, six pounds. Um, it was only about 450, and so I got two of those, so 12 pounds of carrots, and I will use all those up for sure within the month. We love roasting carrot sticks on the side, chopping up carrots really tiny in the food processor, adding it to like taco meat, spaghetti sauce, really anything you can hide. You can hide carrots in a bunch of stuff. Then I got a six pack of the bell peppers. Um, we're back to school now, and so the kids really like raw bell peppers. It's probably one of their favorite raw vegetables. So I got that to put in their school lunches. Then I got five bundles of organic bananas, lots of bananas. I'll need plenty more bananas. Um, my kids will eat them. They'll put peanut butter with it. We freeze them like banana pops, obviously making banana bread, things like that. A lot of uses for bananas. And then um, I love their ah, organic uh, mixed squash. They have a really good price, better than I can find anywhere else. And squash and zucchini are both typically, they're actually on the list of a very high amount of them are GMO. So I like to get organic when I get zucchini squash um, because I you know, would like to stay away from GMOs if at all possible. And Costco has a really great price per pound. And then I always get um, a package of organic spinach as well because you just cannot beat Costco's prices. And if you don't think you'll go through this entire thing before it wilts, do not fear. Just freeze it in little baggies and then throw it into scrambled eggs, throw it into soup, throw it into casseroles, just toss it in wherever you want and then it won't go bad because it was in the freezer. And then I've been loving these golden um, potatoes and I usually buy them from Aldi, but um, this ended up being cheaper to get the 10 pound bag versus the four pound bag at Aldi. So I went ahead and just got this big 10 pound bag of golden potatoes. Then let's see, let's move over here into like nuts and seeds and fruits and all that good stuff. Um, I got another package of walnuts. I was just out of all the nuts pretty much at the same time, pecans and almonds and I like these, the almonds end up being the cheapest per ounce and the pecans actually end up being the most expensive per ounce, but I do like to have um, a variety of nuts and seeds. We really like the sliced almonds, specifically uh, when I make homemade granola, uh, everybody likes when I add sliced almonds in there. And then I needed some pumpkin seeds and I love these because they're already sprouted and they use sea salt versus some form of um, lesser quality salt. Uh, and they were on sale, I didn't know they were on sale, but I got there and so my kids were like loading them in the cart and I was like, we don't need 10 of them, let's just get three because they're on sale. So I was pretty excited about that. And then we just needed raisins. Um, they typically go on sale, but I haven't seen them on sale in quite a while. So I just bought them regular price. When or if they go on sale, I will stock up on them because they're great uh, in the pantry. They last a long time. And you know, when something lasts long and goes on sale, I buy a million, but for today, it was regular price. This, however, was a clearance price. This had an asterisk, it ended in 97, and so it was a great deal. We've never tried this organic dried pineapple before. I have learned my lesson. If it's a brand new product and it's clearance, I don't usually buy a million just in case we don't like it, but only dried pineapple, no preservatives or anything like that. So the kids are pretty excited to break into that there. Then we just needed some craisins. Um, from Azure Standard, I did find some dried cranberries that were sweetened only with fruit juice, but they were way, way more expensive than craisins. So we're just sticking with the cane sugar, you guys. Um, it is a lot of added sugar. Granted, uh, we don't really just eat these. I mostly use these when I make orange cranberry muffins. Um, so yeah, I went and bought some more craisins. And this one, I would not actually like typically buy or recommend because it does have palm kernel oil um, and canola oil, all right? Those are kind of like two big no-nos or whatever. But my kids really wanted to try it and it was um, asterisk 97 and at least said made with non-GMO ingredients. So we are going to eat this bag and we are going to enjoy it and then we will probably not be buying it again. But um, you know, sometimes you just say yes. They could have been asking for Reese's peanut butter cups or M&Ms, but they were asking for trail mix and so I went ahead and said yes. Um, and then back here, another clearance item that I found was these high key mini cookies. 
Um, I've been hearing a lot about them. Um, I don't really know much about them other than they are keto or whatever. So instead of regular flour, it has almond flour and then it's sweetened with erythritol and some stevia and some monk fruit there. Um, but I decided we'll go and try them out. Again, kids are going back to school. This will be a nice little treat to put in their lunchbox. Um, so yeah, they were clearance. So I said, sure, let's try it on out. Then I'm just running low on cane sugar. Um, yeah, I use sugar. I use coconut sugar when I can, but um, it is also a lot more expensive. So sometimes I do half and half depending on what I'm making. And then Isabella has really been into baking. She's been baking banana bread. She's been selling banana bread. She's been having a great old time. And we got some brown sugar to um, further her business endeavors. <laughs> um, then over here, these were on sale. I saw them earlier in the store and was trying to get Guillermo's attention because I figured he would want them. But I passed them up and then we looped back around and he saw them and he snagged them on up and put them in the cart. So it's mostly dark chocolate. Chocolate is the number one ingredient. So not probably much higher than the sugar, but uh, there is more real chocolate than sugar. So that's always good. And it does have real vanilla, uh, a little bit of sunflower oil, but to me, it's just not enough to worry about. So we got those, they were on a sale as well. So uh, glad to pick up a good bargain. And then I have, I, I do want to uh, focus on doing beans from dry beans. I've done it many times in the past, but sometimes you just need something in your pantry that's convenient and ready to open. So I did get these, just the beans, the water, and the sea salt. So um, those were a pretty good deal, about 96 cents per can, uh, which is cheaper than at Kroger. Um, they typically will do uh, like a 10 for 10 for their organic beans. So since it was under a dollar, I went ahead and picked it up. I just needed some new chopped onion, so I got that as well. And then I always get three things of maple syrup. This is probably one of my preferred like natural sweeteners. It's just delicious pretty much on everything. I even like to use it to sweeten my coffee. And then here's what's interesting, something very interesting. So keep your eyes out. If you are wanting to be a wise shopper um, and aware of what's going on, this used to say Texas raw honey or wherever you live. Uh, Costco used to source honey depending on where you live to make it local. Now they say 100% US honey. And I actually received something in the mail. I actually received something in the mail uh, from a honey that I was supposed to be Texas raw honey, uh, saying that they were recalled, that they had found honey that was not from Texas. So I was able to get a refund on that old honey. And then I noticed probably because of that, um, they switched their label. So it is no longer truly local i don't feel like um but it's still from the united states so i don't know we'll test it out i usually use this as my medicinal honey so i'm a little disappointed but we'll see how it goes moving forward then i got two things of coconut oil coconut oil is a really high quality oil but it's probably the lowest cost per ounce of any other like avocado oil is much higher than coconut oil so i do like to use this whenever i can because it is substantially cheaper than avocado oil and then i got some organic dark roast coffee i make my own cold brew coffee for the most part i love at costco you can grind it yourself and for cold brew you actually need to grind it coarse and so they have a setting where i can grind it just the way i need it to make cold brew so pretty exciting then I just picked up a can of this wild caught tuna. I love this because this brand, the Safe Catch, they actually test every single tuna for mercury and they make sure that it is well below um, the limit of what the FDA says, like way, way better, um, way better. They have much higher standards than the FDA um, for their own selves. And so this is the tuna that I like to get and feed my family and goodness gracious, 43 grams of protein Per can, it's just like unbeatable. You got omega-3s, you've just got excellent, excellent source of nutrients with tuna. Um, and I even throw in sardines, usually when I'm making uh, like tuna salad, throw in some sardines, just even more nutrients. And then I got some of this collagen. Uh, I get this, I mostly put it in my coffee um, and just get a little extra collagen, a little extra amino acid profile. Um, but 
I would say you can get collagen through natural sources and I do make bone broth and things like that, but this is just a, an actual supplement. A supplement means that you still eat that food. You're just taking a supplement to fill in any gaps, but please do not take a supplement like this and then feel like you don't have to worry about getting collagen in your diet or you don't have to worry about getting vitamins or whatever the case may be. Supplements, that word is just what it means, is to supplement a healthy diet. Uh, sorry, I'll get off my soap box and go into something more fun. We saw these and I usually make our own popsicles out of pure juice and I have like reusable popsicle bags, but I haven't been doing it because we lost some, we broke some, and we just don't have a lot. I need to buy some more. These were also asterisk 97. They were on a really deep discount and all the kids were there and dad was there and everybody said yes. And so into went to the bag. So um, for our family, we've got seven kids. So this a bag of 35, each kid can have five popsicles per bag. So 10 popsicles, we'll stretch that out over the next couple weeks and they will be very excited about that. Back here, we've got some organic tortilla chips. Uh, those are just Guillermo's favorite chips. They are very sturdy corn chips. If you are in the market for a sturdy corn chip, then Costco has got you covered. Um, organic, and so that also means non-GMO. So I like that. Then I give muffins because my husband and I pastor a church and we provide muffins in the morning. These are not Aubrey approved. There's nothing healthy about them. They're just delicious. They are in fact delicious. So we cut these into fours and serve them on a platter. So yes, my children do eat these muffins. We don't eat them every day and I do not rely on them to nourish my children's body and soul, but they're fun. And we got the pumpkin ones and I was going to the store and there's all that pumpkin stuff, right? And nothing, at, like very little of it actually had pumpkin. It does look like this does at least have pumpkin. Look at that. It has a lot of other things too, like monodiglycerides and things that I don't wanna see, but it does have pumpkin and we're gonna eat it once a week, a tiny bit, and we're all gonna be okay. And then here I've got this organic flour. This had an asterisk, which worried me a little bit because I don't think I've ever seen Costco without flour. So I don't know if they're taking it away and gonna come back with different packaging or what, but because of the asterisk, I was gonna get two, but I went ahead and got three of the 20 pound bags. So two, four, 60 pounds of flour. I will for sure go through 40 pounds within about five weeks or so. Um, I do a lot of baking, so making sourdough waffles, feeding my sourdough, making English muffins, making bread, doing all the things, pancakes, all the things that I wanna do. So um, yeah, got lots of flour. I also just need to pick up some paper towels and some bath tissue. Those are just no fun to buy. Um, but everybody, you know, appreciates using them. And my husband also had his eye on some of those like um, water balloon things that like fill themselves up and it's like a hundred water balloons in five seconds or whatever. So we got two big old packages of those. So I'm sure we're gonna have some water balloon fun very soon. I believe they were on clearance as well. They were like $9.97, so about 20 bucks on water balloons. But that's what happens when you take your husband to the store. Like, am I right, ladies? Am I the only one? Like, I always spend the most when he is with me. Like, no joke. Um, but, you know, he approved it. So it's fine. We're all fine. We're all fine. That, I believe, is everything that I got for Costco. And drum roll, please. Please put in the comments how much did all of this stuff. Don't forget, there was a bunch of cold stuff there. Our grand total was $684.43, you guys.